guys, Computer Star 2255 here, and today I have an installation tutorial and a mod review for a really cool mod by the name of Elemental Orbs Mod. So this is a really cool mod, and it's also very popular, and um, you can get this mod with relative ease. So now what you want to do is you want to download two files to get started. Uh, there's Minecraft Forge and the mod itself. You can get the mod itself from this website over here, and you can get Forge from this website. I'll have the link to both of these websites in the description below. So once you've downloaded downloaded the two files, just keep them somewhere on your, on your computer. I've kept them on this folder on the desktop just for easy access. But now what you want to do is if you are if you are on Mac OS 10 Mountain Lion 10.8, click on go and then uh, up here and then press alt option key on your keyboard. And as you can see library comes up. Click on that. If you are not on Mountain Lion, if you're on a Mac OS 10 10.7 or earlier, then what you want to do is click on go, cl click go to folder, and write this exact thing in the uh, in here. I'll have this in the description so you can just copy paste it. And then click go. So now once you get to the application support, what you want to do is click on Minecraft, and then click on bin. So now as you can see there's a file by the name of minecraft.jar. Right click on that and press get info. Or you can click on that and press command I if you wish. So now in this box over here, next to the name and extension, there's a little arrow. Click on that. And now here what you want to do is next to the .jar, you just want to write .zip. Just like that. Close it and uh, use .zip. So now you are left with the .zip file. And uh, double click on that and it will extract all the files and whatnot. And it will give you a folder. Uh, so you can delete this original one. We no longer need it. And now go into the folder that you just made. So as you can see, there's a bunch of class files here, and somewhere in this folder, there should be a folder by the name of metainf, right there. Once you find this folder, just, just drag it to the trash, just delete it. Because metainf, for those of you who don't know, is a folder that prevents mod from being installed. So if you want to install mods, you have to delete that folder first. But anyway, once that's done, now what you want to do is go back into uh, the two files that you downloaded and first go into forge as you can see there's a bunch of class files over here you can you, you, now what you want to do is highlight everything which you can do by pressing command a and then just drag everything to minecraft.jar click apply to all and then replace now you can close everything out and uh, you pretty much have forge installed however there still is one step required which is pretty easy just log into minecraft and that's about it. As you can see, this box comes up, says Forge Mod Loader is setting up your Minecraft environment. Uh, it, it shouldn't take too long, so just wait. So if you look down here, it says Minecraft 1.5.1, Minecraft Forge 7.7.1.611 is now uh, successfully installed. So that means you have successfully installed Forge. But now what you want to do is install the mod itself. So for that you want to go back into uh, the application support. Uh, so I'm just going to go to library, application support, Minecraft. And now here, uh, there should be a folder called mods. Just open that. And now also again open the two files that you downloaded. And this time you, we want to go into the mod itself. This mod. Uh, you don't have to open it. You don't have to go inside if you want. Uh, just get the folder and just put it inside mods. Now close everything out once again and uh, it should be installed now in theory. So let's just go ahead and just test if it works. Um, yeah, the thing about Forge is that this little box that comes up will come up every single time you open Minecraft but it's really not a big deal because it doesn't take too long so um, yeah that box will come up every time. Alright, so now if you click on mods over here, it says Elemental Orbs Mod 0.95 version has been installed. So that means you have successfully installed the mod. Uh, the mod. And now let me just go into a world and show you the mod. So basically this uh, Elemental Orbs Mod adds a bunch of orbs into Minecraft. Uh, let me first make this normal. So let me just go into, let me just get all the orbs from creative because I don't want to make it in survival. Uh, anyways, let me just show you all the orbs. 
So as you can see from this creative menu thing, there's, there's absolutely tons of mods, I mean tons of uh, orbs. I won't be showing all the orbs because that would just take forever, but I will show you some of them. Let's just get a bunch of pigs just for testing purposes. And now let me show you the mod. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install, I mean not install, just uh, spawn a bunch of pigs. And now let, let me turn off the volume first of all. Whoops. So here, the first uh, orb we have is the fire orb. And what this does is when you right click on it, all the mobs in that area will just catch on fire. So let me do that. And as you can see, it just all the mods just caught on fire like that. So it's really useful if, if you're surrounded by zombies or some, like, something like that. The next one here is lightning orb. And this one is kind of self-explanatory. You just uh, click on a right-click on a mob, and it will it will light them on fire, as you can see, and that turned into pig zombies. Great. The next one we have here is also pretty self-explanatory. The uh, explosion orb. All it does is when you right-click, it explodes. I have heard that this this uh, if you use this a lot, it crashes your Minecraft or something. So I would be careful with that. The next orb we have is the ice orb, and this uh, is supposed to be able to freeze mobs. You can just do like that, uh, and as you can see, it's caught in that little ice uh, ice thing. So yeah, if you want mods to be frozen or something, then this is pretty cool. Also, I believe I'm not sure on this, but I believe that if there's water or something, and you right click on it, it will make it into ice. But anyways, uh, now let me show you the next orb, which happens to be the Ender orb. And this one is also pretty self-explanatory. If you right-click a, mo a mob with it, it just teleports it to a random location like an Enderman. It's usually not very far, uh, it's just somewhere near. So yeah, that's also pretty cool. If, let's say a creeper is approaching you or something, and you just don't want you you don't want it to explode, you can just teleport the creeper away. Uh, the dry orb one is also pretty cool. You just right-click on it, and it, it it just turns it into uh, you know dry orb which is kind of useless, but if you're looking for dirt and sand, I guess, I don't know. Next one is the exact opposite of that, it's the nature orb, and when you right click on this, it basically spawns in a bunch of trees and grass and all that kind of stuff. So again, pretty useful for um, like wood if you want wood and you can't find any trees, then that would be nice. The next one is the water orb, and this one also pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this one is kind of glitchy, as you can see. It just it just makes two by two uh, water things. I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but uh, yeah, it's kind of glitchy, I would say. So let me show you the other ones they have. Uh, the other orbs, that is. Uh, they also have the Nether Orb and the Animal Orb, which the Nether Orb, what it does is when you right click on the ground, it makes it into it's supposed to turn it into Nether. And as you can see, all of this is better now. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for uh, pig zombies and nether rack, I guess, then you can use this one. And also, it will also f uh, get mushrooms in here. So that's also pretty nice, as you can see, a mushroom just spawned. Next one is the animal orb. And this one, when you right click on it, it just spawns in a bunch of, um, a bunch of uh, animals, of this random animals. I don't know why it's not spawning right now, but yeah, I think it's a little bit glitchy. Keep in mind that this mod is a work in progress, so it's still kind of kind of not working correctly all the time. But uh, yeah, it's still a pretty cool mod. These Omega ones here are basically like the same thing as these ones, but they just do like, they just, they just like a bit better. So like the Omega Nether Orb, for example, it does the exact same thing as the Nether Orb, but this one, it just makes it a, uh, a larger, uh, larger area into the nether rack. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the mock. There's also this Omega Ore and uh, Upgrader, which you can use these to upgrade into Omega. But uh, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this mod review and this uh, installation tutorial. So we have now successfully installed the Elemental Orbs mod. And if you guys are having any dif any difficulties whatsoever installing this mod, then please be sure to leave a comment below and I will be sure to reply to you. So uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to leave a uh, leave like, a comment, or a uh, or a rating. And if you really if you really like this video, then don't forget to subscribe for more videos. 
if I can get five likes, actually if I can get like eight likes on this uh, video, then I will upload the next video, which will be a tuto installation tutorial on the next mod. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.